Hello, I'm Winita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. We begin with a look at bisphenol A, also known as BPA. Banned in some countries, but not here in the U.S. It's a chemical used in items we use every day, including food containers. While BPA is not proven to harm children or adults, new studies have led federal health officials to express some safety concerns. Today, we'll explore the uses of BPA and what you can do to minimize your child's exposure. Plastic. Every household has it. Susie Bishop, a Clovis mother of three, has a kitchen cupboard full of colorful, child size and kid-friendly plastic food containers. As a parent, plastic, it really is helpful. Um, with, with young children, it's so difficult to use anything glass because you're always afraid of the, you know, them dropping it, it breaking, it causing injuries. While it is very useful, it's worth considering that some plastic is made with a chemical called bisphenol A, also known as BPA. BPA has been used for decades in the manufacture of food containers, such as baby bottles, cups, and the lining of metal food and beverage cans, including canned liquid infant formula. It's used to harden plastic, keep bacteria from contaminating foods, and prevent cans from rusting. Concerns have been raised because some studies have linked BPA to health problems. It seems to run the gamut. Um, everything from uh, increased um, obesity, um, breast cancer, prostate cancer, developmental issues, um, uh, early uh, development. Um, because it is uh, essentially a synthetic estrogen, anything hormone related that could potentially respond to estrogen could be uh, affected by BPA. While the Food and Drug Administration determined that food-related materials on the market and containing BPA were safe back in 2008, the FDA shifted its position in 2010, expressing some cause for concern over its potential effect on children. Is it safe? That is the big question. Um, and unfortunately, it's not an easy answer. Um, and, and part of that is the uh, discrepancy that's not only in the scientific community, but also in various federal agencies like the EPA, like uh, the FDA, okay? Uh, trying to get a consensus on what is a safe level um, is, is really difficult. Um, it, it, it's, it's challenging to develop the studies and, and actually uh, ad address those kinds of problems. A report from the Health and Human Services Department does point out all evidence that BPA is harmful comes from animal studies, and there is no definitive proof that BPA harms humans. There are some simple steps families can take to minimize exposure to BPA. You can start by paying attention to recycle codes. Anything with a 3 or a 7 is considered a polycarbonate and most likely will have some BPA in it. So now I know, and I went through my cupboards, and I found the numbers 3 and 7 on some of the glass or the cups and various things that I had in there. So I immediately threw those away just to make sure. Temperature matters. Do not put hot or boiling liquid in plastic made with BPA. The chemical can transfer to food and liquids when heated. And instead of microwaving your food in plastic containers, use glass. Try to use fresh instead of canned food. When feeding infants, breastfeeding is best for your child or use powdered formula instead of a liquid. Also, discard any scratched baby bottles and infant feeding cups. Those scratches can harbor germs, and if they contain BPA, may release small amounts of the chemical. You want to avoid those that um, have a scratch surface or worn surface. Those are the kinds of things that can increase the migration of BPA out of these plastics into the food that it comes in contact with.
A new round of government finance studies with uniform methods is now underway and should help to resolve unanswered questions. But in the meantime, this is a chemical we're all exposed to, and that makes it important for us to educate ourselves so we are able to make the best decisions regarding what we are bringing home to our families. When I'm shopping now, I have noticed a lot of the products are saying no BPA or BPA free. And so I think it's just it's raising that awareness. For a detailed list of what you can do to minimize your child's exposure, go to valleypbs.org and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.